Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Aptera recently updated their website with this uh, savings calculator. So if you look at the savings calculator, you it asks you what is your average local solar exposure. And if you click on this, you get this world map. And you see like most of the United States is going to be very high to high to medium. So there's... Uh, there's no place in America that's low. Okay, like somewhere up here in like uh, the upper peninsula of uh, Michigan and the upper part of Minnesota and some parts of New England look like they're low exposure. Okay, and maybe up in Seattle, that area, that's low exposure. But most of the country is medium to high to very high exposure uh, to solar radiation. Now, um, if you click, and then what's surprising here is I didn't realize that this whole central part of China is little to no uh, solar radiation. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just super cloudy. Um, if anyone's from that central part of China or has been there, let me know. It, maybe it's just super cloudy there, but it does seem like this odd swath of lots of solar radiation through the, the middle here. And then boom, right here in uh, central China, there's absolutely nothing in terms of solar radiation. Now up here in Northern um, Europe, it's gonna be little to none, and much of Europe is low exposure. Now here's the good news, if you, if you click through this, if you click through high exposure, it asks you how many miles a day you drive, and gas vehicle, 15 miles, I just leave that standard, and how much price, how much you pay. Now see, it tells you for very high, it's 30 miles per day, so for very high exposure. If you click back, and um, I went through all of these options. This is 30 miles, 28 miles, 26 miles, 24 miles, and 22 miles. See, even little to no exposure, so evidently gets you 22 miles per day on average throughout the year. See, it'll say 22 miles. So it doesn't make as huge a difference as I thought. So it's only like it, it ranges from average of 30 miles a day, because obviously, in the summer, you're gonna get more than 30 miles, you're gonna get like 40 miles a day. Um, and that, that's kind of the maximum that you would expect from the Aptera. And then in the winter, you're gonna get less, but it's gonna average out to 30 miles a day in super high exposure areas. And then in these low solar areas, you're gonna end up with 22 miles per day. So it's not, even in like, you know, uh, Norway, you're gonna get 22 miles per day or roughly. Now. If you want to get very specific and know exactly how many miles you're going to get, um, you should go to this um, National Re Renewable Energy Laboratory website, and I'll, I'll link this page. And then, you know, I figured out this is probably a rough estimate of what the Aptera is. You put in a point uh, seven one eight kilowatt hour uh, size. They're going to you're going to put in the premium modules because um, Aptera uses the uh, Maxion cells, which are very, very uh, efficient. Then you can do fixed open rack. System losses, I went through this in another video and I roughly about 7%. The tilt's gonna be zero. I mean, average out to zero because it's basically on the flat uh, surfaces of the Aptera. And, that, and you're gonna assume that you're gonna place it in the optimum orientation to the sun. Okay, so 180 degrees, which is like facing probably the back uh, this would be the ideal thing where the back is facing south. Okay, this is a sort of rough estimate, but it's it's a better estimate than you would get from uh, their savings calculator. And then you put in your location right here, and then you kind of get the results. And, the, and it'll say for here, for Raleigh, North Carolina, with that, you're going to get uh, 966 kilowatts a year. You just multiply that by 10, and that'll tell you how many miles you're going to get, because you get about 10 miles per kilowatt. Um, so you're going to get 9,660 uh, miles free per year um, out of the Aptera in the, at this location. So if you want to get uh, a more precise for your exact location, uh, go to this uh, go to this website and you can put in that exactly. Anyways, I think that's a cool thing that it tells you like you're going to save this much money and five year savings is this. What they don't take into account is the additional savings and maintenance costs. So I made this Google Sheets, which we did, you know, I think it was a year or two ago when I put this out, but I modified it so you can put in here your uh, solar miles. 
and the way this works is so if you want i'll put a link to this if you want to play with the numbers yourself i mean don't ask me to share it with you because there's too many of you guys just go here to this file and say make a copy and then it'll just make a copy of this that you can play with uh, to your heart's content so just make a copy don't ask for um, access to it just go to file make a copy and make your own copy of this and then you can do whatever you like so the way this works is you put in here how many miles your commute is so if it's like 30 and then that'll automatically change it over here but then you want to put in your fuel economy so don't touch this this is the fuel economy of the aptera which is 10 miles per kilowatt hour um, put in the fuel economy of your current gas vehicle so like if it's 25 miles per gallon on average or you know let's say it's 20 miles per gallon per average then put in the fuel cost in your area unfortunately in california it's about five dollars and where you live maybe it's four um, and then you put in your daily commute which you did here put in the cost of a break uh, of oil change and i'm assuming oil change with full synthetic uh good stuff because I, I, I made this say that you're going to get an oil change every 10,000 miles. So put in the cost for doing the good stuff. The cost of a brake job um, in your area. I'm going to assume that you're going to do a brake job about every 30,000 miles. It's going to cost $500, which I think is kind of a reasonable estimate. But put in the estimate you think that's going to be. And then uh, put in here. 11,000 miles for if you're very high, high, medium, low, and very low. So it ranges from 11,000 to 8,000 miles for that. And then it'll calculate here your fuel cost savings and then annual cost savings if you include oil change and brake jobs. Because essentially with the Aptera, you're not going to do oil change because, you know, there's no oil to change. And you're never going to need to change the brakes on the thing. I mean, it has regenerative braking. Um, the brake pads are just not, they're just not going to wear out. It's just not going to be a thing. Um, I think we, you've heard that a couple of Teslas, they had to have their brakes worked on because the brakes were uh, used so little that they seized up um, because they just, they were never used. Um, so the brakes are just not used in EVs very much with, um, with uh, the amount of regen that they have. So the brakes are going to last pretty much forever. So, um, you know, if, if you have a big commute, it's going to make, save you a lot of money. If you have a smaller commute, less. Anyway, this gives you kind of more full cost of ownership because it takes into account the oil change in the brakes. And um, so if you want to take that into account and figure out your savings, this, this is going to, this Google Sheets document is going to be much more accurate than Aptera's saving calculator. Although this looks... Is probably a lot more aesthetic and easier to use. Okay, so uh, check this out if you haven't done this already. If you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you have seen this fuel and maintenance savings uh, sheet. Uh, it, it's slightly updated with this row seven, but go, again, go to file, make a copy, play with it to your heart's content. Comment below how much you'd be saving um, and where you're at. And then if you want to get the most accurate number, Go to this PV Watts calculator at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's webpage, and I will link this. Put in these specs for your location, and then just multiply the annual thing by 10, and put that number right here. Okay. All right. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, tell me how much you're saving, uh, potentially, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.